As far as we know, it's the only home to life in the universe. Why? What is it that makes our planet so special? The answers are hidden deep in the Earth's past. To find them, we must travel back in time to see the first humans walk the Earth, to ride continents on a collision course, face killer dinosaurs, dive into oceans full of bizarre life forms, feel the bitter chill of global ice ages, and experience the fury of cosmic missile attacks. We must travel back in time until we reach the birth of the Earth itself. Then we can piece together our planet's incredible story and discover why all of this, all of us, are here. The journey starts almost five billion years ago. But this can't be right. There's no sign of our beautiful blue planet. Just a newborn star, our sun, surrounded by all this dust. We've arrived too early, before the Earth has even formed. Speed up time, and we can see gravity pull the dust into tiny rocks. It hardly seems possible. But something as complex as a planet is made from nothing more than dust and rocks. Over millions of years, gravity pulls these rocks together to form the Earth one of at least a hundred planets circling the sun. But 4.54 billion years ago, our planet looks more like hell than home. Up close, the temperature is over 1,200 degrees Celsius. There's no air, just carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and water vapor. It's so hot, so toxic, that if we got any closer, we'd be incinerated and suffocated in seconds. The newborn planet is a boiling ball of liquid rock. There are virtually no solid surfaces, just an endless ocean of lava. The planet called Thea is heading straight for us. It's the size of Mars and it's traveling at nearly 15 kilometers a second, 20 times faster than a bullet. The intruder's gravity is distorting the Earth's surface.
the blast wave races out around the planet. It's as though both young planets turn to liquid. Trillions of tons of debris blast out into space. Over the course of just a thousand years, gravity works its magic and turns the rubble into a ring of red-hot dust and rock that circles the Earth. And now, from this ring a ball forms, over 3,000 kilometers wide. We're watching the birth of our moon. It's much closer than the moon we recognize. Just 22,000 kilometers away, instead of about 400,000 kilometers. The sun rises over a cooling earth. And sets just three hours after it rises. The impact has set the earth spinning so fast that an entire day lasts just six hours. The days may pass quickly, but the Earth changes slowly. To understand the making of our planet, we need to fast forward through millions of years. billion years ago and we're under attack from debris left over from the solar system's formation. Look at these strange crystals inside the meteors. They look like grains of salt. The same salt you'd put on your french fries. And inside these minute droplets of water. It seems these deadly missiles could contain the vital ingredient for life on Earth. There's only a small amount of water inside each meteorite. But as they bombard the Earth for over 20 million years, pools of water grow. The water collects on solid ground. The Earth's core remains molten, but its surface has cooled to around 70 or 80 degrees, just enough to form a crust. In the future, we could swallow